Listen very closely to this. But going forward, you must be open to the idea that what you have thought about the Lord Jesus previously was simply a stepping stone to this new understanding. Do not be as the one who has not, because he is not willing to be given more abundance. Many Christians today hinder their spiritual growth by assuming there is nothing more they can learn, and therefore they do not knock, and it cannot be opened. Now, if you have understood the verses I provided, they are explaining that not only is Jesus Christ a created being, but he was created after Satan, which aligns with Genesis 1, which states that the... No, that does not align with anything he's talking about. Jesus Christ is not created. Do you hear how slick that was? I'm going to put a link in the description of that video. I have two YouTube accounts. I've tried to comment twice on this video and I've been blocked. So not only is he censoring all his comments to where my voice can't even be heard. And this is the pillar of truth Christian church. Tyler Doka is his name. And I'll tell you, I discovered him when I learned about flat earth and his flat earth sermon that is like two hours long. It is a good biblical explanation. The verses are good, but as for this man and his faith on Jesus Christ, he has plummeted. He has plummeted. And what's interesting is in the one comment by Renaissance Artistic Woodworking, he asked, well, then can you explain why it is said that he is the only begotten son? So he's explaining that, oh, yeah, well, light or darkness was first and then light was. And so he's pretty much saying that Satan was created before Jesus Christ is really what he's saying. And then that Jesus Christ was a created being and not God himself. And so I'm going to share with you the comment that I want to comment on that I'm being ignored. So this is so crucial to your faith. So at minute 18 and second 12 is when this begins. And then at minute 18 and second 44 is when he's denying the deity of Jesus Christ. So listen to John chapter 1 verses 1 through 2. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. And verse 14 of John 1, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we have beheld his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. You are basically saying Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is a created being like Satan and not God. 1 John 5 and verse 7, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. 2 John chapter 1 and verse 7, For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. This man, Tyler Doka, is deceiving souls, censoring my comments to proclaim Jesus Christ as God the Son, eternal, not created. 1 John chapter 2, verses 22 to 23. Who is the liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is an antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son hath not the Father, but he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. John 10 and verse 30. I and my Father are one. 2 John chapter 1, verses 9 through 11. Whosoever transgresseth, and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ, hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ hath both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him Godspeed. For he that biddeth him Godspeed is partaker of his evil deeds. I am shocked that he would even try to say that. I watched the first 18 minutes, and I'm like, wow, this is, this is going to be pretty good. And then all of a sudden, alarms went off that, wow, this 
guy is denying the deity of Jesus Christ and is blocking my comments. Beware the false prophets.